All right, I'm going to give you an overview and review about the Joy Pebble uh, portable air conditioner available on Amazon right now. It's about $300 altogether with taxes and shipping included. A little over $300 altogether to get it to your door like this. So it comes in this box, a box like this. It doesn't have any extra packaging, so it's sent direct to the consumer. Uh, that's pretty good about it. I think that uh, the Joy Pebble is the distributor. Uh, the manufacturer is listed here as uh, Kiss Smile. So I guess that's the manufacturer. Uh, what you should expect though, is that this will be FedEx to you. And it's been hit or miss with me for FedEx. They actually left this outside the property and they didn't allow me, they didn't notify me that it was there. They were actually blocking the front door of this whole apartment building. And so uh, it's hit or miss with them. Just be aware that this is sent without a signature required when it's sent from the from the warehouse, which is in New Jersey, just in case you're wondering if it if it's gonna ship directly from China and you're gonna have to wait for customs. No, it, they have they have uh, warehouses and it shipped from New Jersey. So uh, setup is relatively straightforward. You snap, uh, you slide this piece in along the guides here, this piece, and um, uh, before you do that, you might want to uh, crank this on all the way to the hose as far as it will go. And then the same on the other side. Crank this on before snapping this piece into uh, the window kit. Now the window kit is 37 inches long. Uh, my window's a little longer, so I had 7.5 inches at the top, but there's a little, um, but there's a little piece of cardboard. But most of this is the plastic guide under there, is the plastic thing under there. And so I, I uh, had some gaps there, uh, which I used these insulating uh, prime shippers for. And evidently I'm a little dependent on Amazon this year. I don't want to be, but that sort of ended up what it, what it is like. Because uh, things like this, uh, these are not in supply in Seattle. And you can't really get an AC unit for around $300 in Seattle a lot of the time that has this, uh, this capacity. So this is a 10,000 BTU. And a lot of the time, uh, you know, for a space like this, this is actually 390 square feet, I suppose. So uh, this is for 350 square feet. So ideally we should have had a 12,000, but uh, these are hard to afford right now. So anyway, uh, I had it all sealed up here. And uh, this plastic thing does go uh, all the way to the top, just seven inches short of the top of this window. So the window's a little longer than that. Added a little cardboard at the top, taped it up, and then taped up this insulating material to uh, block the gaps that were there. And as far as I know, uh, this is hot air coming out and this is exhaust and it's properly hooked up. Uh, I do think people tell you to open these all the way up. So you may want to uh, pull this and pull this out uh, as far as so far that that, that pipe is, uh, has no, has no uh, areas like that in it, kinks in it as you would call them. So we really do want to uh, set it, that up properly. Now, uh, this has been on for about 30 to 45 minutes and uh, we're looking for a target of 73 but we started out with 90 degrees. So we're getting there slowly. I think slowly but surely. I'm not sure if it will really drop high, lower than this. Um, there may still be gaps and stuff, especially with this simple material. There may be gaps and things like that. So uh, I'm gonna open up the hose all the way and push this a little forward so that maybe maybe that, that might get corrected. Um, but I'm hoping that it'll be 73 as it's supposed to be even though it's uh, quite hotter than that right now. But humidity was like 65 and dropped really quickly. So it does help with the humidity. Um, it didn't uh, go into AC until I pressed this button. It was just fan and it said 90 degrees and it was just a fan. And then I pressed the mode button, the uh, frost icon, the, the uh, snowflake icon came on and it said 70 degree, three degrees. And you can adjust that up or down, I suppose. Um, but uh, uh, we're not trying to do that right now. But if we needed to, yeah, 
he could do that. So uh, this is not an Energy Star device. As, as you can see, it uses about uh, $90 a year or 6.6, um, .6, I guess, kilowatt hours or 6.6 so, .6 is the efficiency rate. So it's not considered Energy Star. It's not an energy saving device, okay? Uh, this is like what you can afford when you're poor and that sort of thing. Um, so that's what we got. I do look forward to it to cool down, but I don't expect it to really cool down on a really hot day like this, but uh, it does make it a little bit more tolerable if it's 86 as opposed to 90 and uh, less humid. And, and I was having trouble with sleep. Uh, as you can see, I'm sweating a lot, profusely, and uh, smell bad, the BO is really bad. And I wasn't able to sleep for several days really well, so I needed this. Uh, there's uh, still about 30 days left in the summer that will be hot like this over the next few months, which is an average of $10 a day having this convenience, which is kind of high, but I guess if I'm home, uh, kind of worth it too, in my opinion. So that's what, that's what I'd say about that. Um, I do think that that might be all it's going to cool down to. So I'm going to expand this here and push this, as I said, farther. I do think that might change it, but uh, maybe not a whole lot. So uh, that's the thing is that this is a little bigger than, 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 than this is rated for the space. And uh, it should be that, that you should have a 12,000, like I said. So, and you know, if you don't, have the right gear for your space well of course it's gonna uh, work kind of funky and, and uh, that's all I had the money for too but uh, yep that's that that's the deal with buying these things uh, either factory direct or from a distributor on Amazon